Hi everybody, welcome back or welcome if you are new. I am, this is not a cleaning video, <laughs> my normal one on a Sunday. I am, I keep giving excuses. I'm just behind. Let's just put it that way. I, it's, uh, cleaning has been on the back burner, honestly. Um, one week I just wasn't feeling good. Um, and it was also our month end close and it was the first time in the new role, um, my new role doing that. So it was a little bit more responsibility and working a little bit longer hours. And then this week I haven't had a chance to do any cleaning. I have had to go into the office several days this week. Um, so getting up at, um, the time change has not helped with all of that. Um, I'm not sleeping well. It is 1030 on Friday night. I, today was my Friday off. I took a little nap at, in the afternoon. My mom called and woke me up and I've even taken nighttime cold medicine and I, I took it two hours ago, three hours ago. It was 730. It's 1030 now. Uh, and I'm awake because my mind is just all over the place trying to think of things um and more along the lines of the stuff that I want to do on the side <laughs> not my regular job um but you know YouTube and the um all the other things that are going on and I just I so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to edit the whole video that I was supposed to post on Wednesday that I have not vid edited. And I'm hoping that once I finish editing the video and I can get some sleep that I can start fresh tomorrow with cleaning and getting back on track. I've, I've needed to rest. I, I've needed to rest. So I've been allowing myself to rest, but I feel like I'm letting you guys down by not posting my videos on a regular schedule like I have been and all of that. So I am just trying to get everything back in gear and um, I know my mind will be a lot less or a lot more calmer. Um, once we hire someone else to take over what I was doing previously, but it's going to take several months for, for that to happen. Um, and I say that because then I have to train them and all of that. So, um, I'm, I'm technically doing two jobs right now at work. So I'm, I'm a little frazzled with that right now, but that is okay. It is, it will, we'll get through it. I'll get through it, all of that. Um, but I definitely want to share with you guys some things that are happening and all of that. So um, we're just going to start with a haul. I have no idea how long this is going to be because I have not actually sat down to edit the video. But I did do a lot of shopping at Amazon and mostly it was Amazon. But I have also do a Wee haul and trying to think I don't think I've done anything else so I am going to get myself a cup of coffee because I am one of those people that can drink coffee and not go to sleep or that can drink coffee and go to sleep right after drinking it for some reason so I am actually just going to go get it because I only had two cups of coffee today so I'm going to go get my third cup and start working on editing this video and all of that so that way it will be posted on Sunday and I can get back to, I have plans to start painting my bathroom counter cabinet tomorrow. And then, um, so that way I can have that video posted on Wednesday, fingers crossed. Um, and then I will do my budgeting video on Friday. And then Sunday, it's like tomorrow between painting the cabinet, I will be deep cleaning the laundry room, the hallway and the storage closets. And getting that video posted for the following week and um, I'm trying to think I actually over Easter I have four days off because 
we get Good Friday off at work, but it's also Good Friday is technically my 980, so that means I get Thursday off as well. So um, I get a four-day weekend, but my mom is planning to be here that week weekend and um, plans to do a lot of outside work and all of that. So um, I'm looking at my calendar over here. So that's what's going on. A quick rundown of what's going on and all of that, but let's go ahead and get into the shopping haul that I did. We're going to go ahead and get started with the Heroes Journal. And in my packet that I got a couple days ago, I this side deck came um, back in stock and so I ordered it and while I was on there ordering it they came up with a bunch of other things. I'm going to open these real quick. So in this deck uh, it is it is the companion to this hero's journal which I also bought but we'll get to that a little bit later. But in these decks are kind of like side things so you can draw a card from here and this one has set an early bedtime for more sleep little little cards to give you activities to do during the day um, you know you can pull them whenever daily multiple times a day or something like that trying to come up with something I have the I'm gonna go get the other two I have these two as well. They go with the other Heroes journals and they kind of have the same concept as well. Then the Heroes Planner, which is a brand new thing that they're doing. Heroes Planner had a side deck as well and pulling a card from this one. And make a use in case of a bad day kit for yourself or for someone else it will focus. There we go. Um, you know, for me it would be Dr. Pepper and chocolate. I keep hearing banging. <laughs> then the Hero's Journal, which is the Legend of Astoria, and I got the green bound one, and these are just little things that you can fill out that kind of help you along doing goal planning and um, trying to, so goals or journey, so just trying to get you on track and everything but it comes nicely packaged with this that has a metal or not metal but magnet enclosure so it's all there and then the final thing that I got from there this go around is the heroes planner and I got the perfect bound planner it came with a pin loop For some reason I want to say I thought I had taken this off of my shopping list but I guess I didn't so it perfect bound it's not spiral bound so it has the nice little cover stat or elastic and then just like the hero's journal but it's more planner based for the week and each week has a different theme in here and it goes through all the different like little scenarios and things like that. So I just thought, well, you know, something else to kind of spice up my planning a little bit when I get in a rut and not wanting to use my planner. So that's what this is for. Now on to Amazon haul. I'm looking at all the boxes around me. I think I have everything opened. Some stuff is in the dishwasher, so. I'm actually gonna go get the stuff that's in, the, at least one of the things that's in the dishwasher. First things first, this is a Corel. Bowl, and I think this was a 40 ounce, but I wanted to get something like this uh, for when I have salads or ramen or something like that, a big, big bowl, basically, so that way I can you know do that but 
The box came with four, so the other three are in the dishwasher right now. And then I brought this one out to share with you, and it's nice and warm. The rest of my dishes are Corel. I've had them forever, and I just like them because they're lightweight. They're more compact, and um, I don't know. I they they don't break <laughs> like the stone and all of that they break and all of that I mean these will break under pressure I'm sure but I just know that they'll last and you can I've used them for nice dishes and just regular dishes without having to have nice dishes as well so I just kind of jazz up the place settings and stuff like that but so I got nice size bowl and I've already eaten ramen out of one of the bowls and it was perfect for that so I have been having some sleeping problems and I don't have everything yet when it comes to what I'm trying to do to upgrade my bed a little bit. So in the cleaning video, in one of my cleaning videos, I rotated my mattress around, kind of tightened up the, the tension underneath the, the bed and everything. Um, not easy to do with one person. <laughs> so, but one of the things I wanted to try out this is the brand by another YouTuber that I follow, and I just wanted to try it um, just to support her and everything. Um, but I got her bamboo sheet sets in cloud white. Uh, they're still in the box. I have not even tested them out, but I wanted to um, share these with you before I actually um, rip them out of the box and wash them and do all of that today. So um, this was one thing that I bought. The other thing that I bought from her brand is not here yet, um, but it is a mattress, bamboo mattress pad as well. Just, I feel like my joints are not, you know, I'm not in alignment laying in the bed and everything, and that tends to happen. I've had that mattress since 2018. 2017 2018 something like that so and I've been a little overweight so it's about time for it to start you know not going but just you know um, needing a little extra work and support and all of that type of stuff so um, I'll share that later when it actually comes in when later today and everything the other thing that I got for the bed was this um, it is a cotton muslin blanket. Uh, the blanket that I have on there is nice, but it's shrinking. So I was like, let's go with something a little lightweight and this. And again, I want to break it out of the out of the box and um, wash it before putting it on my bed tonight. but it's also white. You would ask, might ask why I get white bedding when I have black cats. <laughs> no, I just, white makes it look so clean, but it's, I like it. It has a little bit of texture, but not a lot. It, so it's okay to be wrinkly and all of that. And it's small and it's a king, this is a king size. Another bedding thing, I've already taken one out of the the box, but I'm gonna grab the box. <laughs> it is a pillow. Um, I'm gonna go get the pillow. So in that box was this pillow. I have the actual pillowcase on the pillow, but it is one where it came with extras of like microfiber, not microfiber, but the foam <laughs> that expands, but I don't think it's gonna expand in here because they just seem, maybe it will. But if I want it to be, I'm able to pull some out of there if I think it's too fluffy or add more if I think I need more in there. I tried sleeping it on last night, but it hadn't fully expanded. So um, <laughs> we'll test it tonight. but it's squishy. It's also supposed to be cooling because I'm getting into the summer, getting, not really, it's springtime still, but you know, I'm sleeping hot and everything. So um, with the bamboo sheets and this and um, 
see if I actually can, you know, my neck and all of that stuff, I can start healing all the, all the pain that I have right now. I have the clear museum gel, but I wanted to get the putty, which is more of a white texture, like silly putty in a way, um, for hanging some of my pictures to kind of, so that they're not, you know, <laughs> bouncing around on the walls and everything. So some of my uh, pictures are up there with Velcro strips and everything, but the one few that are up there with nails, this will help kind of keep them in place a little bit. And then I have to undo this. Hey, thanks. I'm trying to unpeel the wrapper. Then the next thing that I purchased was a gua sha. And this one had lots of reviews and everything. But I just bought the regular jade one. And it is the Rena Chris brand. And it has comes with a book type stuff to kind of like direct you on how to go. It also has a little cleaning rag. Um, I already have some oils that I can use, um, mainly castor oil. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking um, to kind of help with mainly, ooh, might get my Amazon delivery, mainly with the bags and kind of helping all of this out. This is not, it's in a box, but it is an O-Cedar mop, not mop, uh, broom. So it is an O-Cedar mop that's for pet stuff. It is all in pieces, but basically I have an O-Cedar, did I say mop? I meant broom. I have one for the kitchen area, but I wanted one for my bathroom. And this is one where you can step on the handle and it flattens this out. Um, so you're not having to bend over until you go to pick it up and everything. But, um, so I wanted one for my bathroom for when I'm sweeping up the litter and everything. Um, just because the one that I had didn't have the rubber thing on here and I want the rubber thing. Um, plus the added benefit of stepping on this. We have clothing items. Okay. So, I for sleeping mainly. Um, I already have a pair of white tank tops. These are Amazon Essentials 2X and they're just to sleep on, lounge around the house in when it's a little bit warmer. I like these so far, they are very comfortable. So I bought a gray pair and they have lots of different pairings that you can do, different colors and everything. So, gray pair. And a black pair. So, nothing special. They are kind of see-through a little bit. Not as bad as some <laughs> tank tops that I've, or t-shirts that I've received, but yeah, these are, um, they're, they are slim fit, so they are kind of on the tighter side, um, so that's why I'm like, I wear them underneath some blouses that are kind of billowy type blouses that you can kind of see through, and, um, then I also wear them to sleep in around the house. And then I got 
some of the joggers like I'm wearing today, which you can't see, but I got some more because they're so comfortable and soft. They are real essentials, but from Amazon. So it's a black pair and they're lightweight. So they're for summer, basically spring, summer, fall for me, spring, summer, fall, winter. Um, might be a little warm for summer. But then camo, I'm not a big camo person, but I was looking at the color options that could be delivered this weekend. And this was the color option. So we're going with that. I also am have some other stuff that was delivered. Um, but let me finish. There's one more box of stuff that I have sitting over there that came in yesterday. We're just going to cover the air purifier. Who cares? So this is kind of a two-parter type thing. So I am with me trying to eat a little bit healthier. I know that the coffee I drink because I I drink the Korean instant coffee Maxim Mocha Gold or something like that, um, which has um, dry or um, instant coffee. I'm trying to think instant coffee sugar and creamer, powdered creamer, powdered sugar, all of that in the packets. Then I add milk onto that, but I know that that's not the best adding in all of that. So I'm going to try to drink some more tea. And I wanted to try some different loose leaf teas, but you know, I wanted to be a little extra when it came to doing all of this because I don't necessarily have a good mug to do loose leaf tea or a tea diffuser when it comes to that. So when I saw this on Amazon, I had to buy it because if you know me, I have three black cats roaming around and this is adorable um that is if i can find the one is um up turning a box right now what are you trying to do huh Okay, so it still has all the wrappings and everything on it, um, but it's cute. Okay, so without all the wrappings, look at this. Okay, so it is little little tea mug where the head top comes off and it actually will sit on the table nicely and from there it has a little diffuser and if you can see any of this I nearly lost it and broke it. Um, the can't see it. Um, it has little paw prints. It's trying to focus somewhere else. There we go. Little paw prints in the diffuser. So the diffuser that I had was from IKEA, and then the cup itself like this. So. Um, I forget how many ounces it is. I'm sure it says on the box somewhere. Um, so anyways, so got this little guy. It's just absolutely adorable. Um, <laughs> But to go along with that, I got this tea sampler from Testa Tea on Amazon. Um, 
It's the Discovery Sampler. And they have a whole bunch of different types of teas in here. So they have Slenderizer teas, Eternity teas, Relaxer teas, Ener Ener Energizing Energizer teas, and immunity teas and there's a whole bunch of different flavors in here um, so you have Myers lemon zest lemon ginger turmeric pomegranatopia ginger sweet peach Victorian Earl Grey blueberry wild child passionberry jolt blackberry bellini Maui mango chamomile mint a bunch of different flavors and um, this should last me a good while. And I just wanted to, you know, try to um, eliminate some of the, the coffee and Dr. Pepper that I've been drinking and try to do something a little bit healthier for me. Okay, next. I got these, I need to open them up, but Basically, it's a little wheel. It looks kind of bad from that angle, but it is a wheel that you can sticky to the bottom of stuff. And um, I plan to put this on the baskets that I have in the, that are my back stock baskets and stuff like that, that are on the ground on, in my pantry. So that way I can just pull and pull them and um, they're not scratching up the, con the, the floor in there. And I think I might be moving, I haven't done it yet, but I think I might be moving my um, mixer down to the ground as well. Um, so it just will make it easier to kind of roll it to the counter and then pick it up. But I'm still kind of not sure if I want to have it on rollers when it's mixing. So I'm kind of debating that as well. And then the last things, I am almost done with my diamond paintings that I got previously. Well, I am halfway, I've done six out of the 12. The six of them are sitting on the table. Um, I glued them down so I, yesterday, so I was waiting for the glue to dry. Um, so I was like, let me go ahead and order some more. This one, um, I'll have to insert the picture but might be able to see a picture right there but it is like a what is it looks like it's a either either peach tree peach flower tree or a um, cherry tree in blossom over a lake with a moon and it's a very it's supposed to be a very long one so it is 70 by 40 centimeters so if anybody knows what that is in inches um, but yeah 70 to 40 centimeters on this and um, so I'm looking forward well I know that the height of it is this long because that's the that's the bottom and this is the top so, um, or vice versa. Anyways, so I'm not sure how long it is. But that's something to do. And then I have more also on the diamond paintings. And these are, this is a 10 pack. Um, and it's natural scenes a lot of green a lot of green in this um but it's nature scenes and i'm looking forward to doing this as well and i'm trying to see if i can see a size but i can't see a size i want to say these are like 14 by 16 or 12 by but i don't have the size but they're a decent size okay let me go outside and get the other box that came in. So I got one for here and one for work. They are blue Adventurine Lucky Cat statues. I 
think they're supposed to be hand carved as well. Um, but um, event, Blue Adventurine, from what I was reading, is supposed to be good for trying to break bad habits. So um, that is why I got them, but they're cute little. So one for to put by my either somewhere in this house or something like that or by my desk or something like that. Um, but trying to get rid of some of my bad habits because I'm still biting this fingernail and um, most of the other ones I've started to grow out but when they start getting nicks and everything then I start biting them and then it's just, just but the thumbnail has always been um, I've always had a problem with this I was a thumb sucker for a very long time so I think a lot of that um, with me wanting to bite just my thumbnail has stems from something that not a psychology major but I there's something that that's a habit and I think that's why after I stopped sucking my thumb I moved to biting my fingernails and then I've tried to quit biting my fingernails that's why I'm doing the diamond painting while I'm watching TV because it makes me stop um, biting I'm doing something else with my hands okay the other thing that I got and I think this will kind of like um, be the end of my pajamas maybe until summertime or something like that um, or until I lose weight or something like that. So I love this pajama sh set. Um, forget the company. Um, it's Anju. Anju. Um, I have multiple sets of their pajamas. I really don't wear the long sleeve because um, it's, it's too tight in this area for me um the rest of it's perfectly fine like the arm length and the around the stomach kind of on the tight side um just because i'm i need to lose some weight but the pants are perfect and this i get 2x in this and i mean it's they're perfect um <laughs> and i have the dark blue with hearts the pink with polka dots, now the light blue with stars, and then I also have like the solid grays. So I kind of, after the solid gray, I kind of was like, I kind of don't like the solid, I don't like the solid colors, so I went to this. I also have the, one of the Christmas pairs, so I am looking forward to this. <laughs> Um, and then the last two things are kind of on the big side, so I don't like the taste of my tap water. I also don't like buying bottled water, and I don't like having to continue to refill filters and or pitchers and all of this type of stuff. I mean, technically I have to do that with this, but this is a Brita hub, basically, and it's one where that you plug in and it has all of these bells and whistles once i get into the kitchen to clean and everything i'm gonna set this up so i have set this filter up in my kitchen and it doesn't work i don't know what's wrong with it from the sounds of it from the looks of it there's something going wrong with the pump or the vacuum so i fill the reservoir up with water put it into the thing a couple bubbles pop out so it's kind of like all the other ones where it has a little valve on the bottom side that's supposed to drop the water into this thing and then it's supposed to suck up the water into the filter and do all of that type of stuff something is wrong in that you can hear it trying to work but it's not the, the water level in the reservoir is not going down there's no water coming through the, the nothing um, so either there's a clog in the where the tube is at or the pump is wrong so today i and this it's been set up for about a week but i haven't had the time to do anything about it so i today this evening not even evening at nighttime i sent a 
email or message to Britta's customer service and it's Friday night. Well, now it's Saturday morning at 12, 10 in the morning. But when I sent it, it was like 10, 1030, something like that, that I sent it to Britta and um, at night. And so their customer service is only Monday through Friday, which I totally understand. Uh, being in customer service, I totally understand. Um, so maybe I'll get a response on Monday or something like that. But the fact that I spent $140, 170 absolutely ridiculous and it doesn't work and it's like now that I've gone back I've read a lot of reviews from people where it said it where they've said that they've plugged it in and it doesn't work so I bought mine off of Amazon I don't know if it's different if it's bought from another store like if it just malfunctioned because Amazon mishandled it somehow I'm not quite sure so I was looking forward to this and having it on my counter and having it look nice and all of that and I do like the looks of it. I just wish it worked. So I'm gonna wait for Britta to message me back and see what we can do about it. But in the meantime, I'm sharing it with you guys. But I tread with, or yeah, it's basically, what's the phrase, tread with caution, I think, um, if you ever purchase it. But yeah, so it's, for right now, my problem is is that it just doesn't work. Other people have raving reviews about it and all of that, There's, but there's still a lot that say that it doesn't work for them. So um, there must be like a faulty batch or something like that that went through. And I, may, I just got that faulty batch. So let's get back into the haul. I don't exactly know where I will set it up, but it has a 12 cup capacity. Um, and that's probably about like math, not good. So that is 12 cup capacity is about 96 ounces and that is about what the amount of water I want to drink in a day so this will give me a good estimate on how much I'm drinking so if I'm filling that thing up every single day then I know I'm getting close to my um, hundred ounces of water and that's just because I um, I barely drink the recommended 64 ounces. And I know that that fluctuates for where you live, what activity level you're doing and all of that. So, um, but I also weigh 250, pa 250 pounds. So I need to drink more water to kind of flush everything out of the system as well and try to lose some weight as, you know, try to drink more water and all of that. So that is one thing. And the other thing is from the belt hair line and it is the mattress topper so this is the box it's a little banged up from shipping um like there's a hole right there um but we'll see how it is once i get in there it looks like it might be a return because the this is like double taped anyways so we'll see what it looks like once I get it unboxed and everything. Um, yeah. Now this thing that came here, this huge box, um, you can't see the label, the address label. Um, it is a bike. It is, I said that kind of strangely. It is a bike. It is a Schwinn Discovery, Discoverer. Something along that line. It is a hybrid between a cruiser and a mountain bike type thing. I think it has 21 speeds. I'm gonna have to put this monstrosity together. And uh, but over here on the label, it asks for a screwdriver, two different Allen wrenches, two different other wrenches, one that's adjustable, one that's probably a certain um, millimeter pliers and a bike pump so <laughs> got that I am gonna take the camera off and take get a shot of the 
the picture that's on the bike or on the box. Um, I'm going to insert a picture of the cat ledge um, once I get it done because I'm not going to attempt that today. It's going to have to be this weekend because I have to move stuff out of the way. But it is alleged for the cats that just attaches to the window. It has, um, I, I don't know if it's Velcro, but it's the same concept, the tooth and whatever it is, um, to attach it to the windowsill, which is not my favorite thing, but the other options that they had was where it would attach the window. I don't have the right windows for that, so I, and the length of the windowsill was not enough room. So, but this is just a ledge for the cats, um, so I can kind of have, have a little bit of an opening by the back entryway and all of that. So, my bed is not made, but that's okay. I did put the blanket on the muslin blanket and it's already dirty. Same as having some ear problem um, where they're, hey, he's having allergies again. So this is the blanket. It is very lightweight. And um, <laughs> tell me you own a cat without telling me you own a cat. Um, but it is very lightweight. I mean, it is pretty like pretty see-through if we can get to the so I um, am liking this so far it's the right weight right now we'll see how it goes for the summertime as we warmer and warmer and warmer and then I also have the pad on the the mattress topper on top of the bed and honestly, I have been sleeping a lot better. I don't feel so out of place when I wake up in the morning, but I do have these two cats, maybe three, to contend with in this bed. But yeah, my bed is not made. I It is the end of the day. I'm not gonna make it today. I mean, that's probably about as made as I'm gonna make it today. Um, <laughs> It's been a week. Let's just put it that way. Okay, the very last thing that I am hauling are these plant stands. They are on rollers and they have two that lock. Um, so that way, if you're moving plants, but they're solid wood. I forget if they're acacia or teak, but um, I just wanted to have something mainly for that have to see if you can see it all the way down the hallway. I have the lamp up there that before it was sitting right on the ground but underneath it it was starting to get mildewy so I needed to I need to prop it up so right now I have it on another plant stand and then something else so I am going to go and put it on this and um don't mind the dirty clothes that are down there as well but um put that on here and maybe it will do a little bit better than what it is currently on because right now what it's on is kind of flimsy and everything. So let's go ahead and ha head down the hallway, put this on. First and foremost, weavers. It is a place for Korean groups. I think they're expanding to other groups as well. Um, other countries, I'm not quite sure though. But that is the place that I go to for BTS and all that, the, the official fandom material, merchandise and all of that type of stuff. Um, I'm trying to get into the box and I'm having issues. Um, so this is something that has been on my wish list for many, many, many years. And for those of you that have, that understand Korean music, um, they have light sticks. And I got my army bomb um, that I think I need to put batteries in because I it didn't come with anything. But along with it, it came with a cover. And they always stick in things so I think this is the manual on how to do it but it's the official light stick 
SE Map of the Soul. So that's the one I got um, for whenever they go on concert. I'm hoping I can get in to see their concert in 2025 or six. And then um, we have picture cards. So I'm gonna open up the picture cards and see who I got. I know I got RM because his little dimples. RM, Jen, Sugar, or you don't, uh, I'm dropping them. Oh no. And on the back, it's Map of the Soul. Um, forgot. J Hope. I didn't forget. I just got distracted. Jimin. V and my bias, Jungkook. And then my official card saying it's official. So with most of the stuff you get the photo cards and there are photo card collectors and all of that type of stuff. So there is all of that along with it. And then also with this order, I'm going to shove these back into the plastic sleeve. Okay. They are crinkly because of being in wrappings still, but it is the me, myself, photo special photo folio thing. So I got Jungkook and I believe this is RM. Yeah, RM. So starting my collection of these, but they are $38 a piece plus the astronomical amount of shipping through UPS. But um, eventually I will get all eight of them and they also, I think, come with photo cards, but it's photo albums, stuff like that. So eventually I will take them out of the wrappings and put them on my in my bookcases and all of that type of stuff. Let's get on to the Wee haul. I am going to go get some items that are in the kitchen. And um, actually, let's move into the kitchen and do that. So that way you can see what I'm talking about. First things first, these are... I. They were kind of a whim on the last time I bought, but they are turtle chips, the Choco Churros, and they are so good. They taste like, and <laughs> it's kind of a mix of the things. So they're chocolate flavored. Um, when you open them up, it smells like Cocoa Krispies. And when you taste them, it tastes like the cake chocolate cake donuts. I've already eaten one bag. I'm trying to refrain myself from eating this because I literally will eat the entire bag, which is 160 grams, 5.65 ounces. Um, I will eat this pretty much in like one day, one and a half days. Um, so I'm trying to not so good. The next thing that I got, I'm trying this out, but it is rose, rose toboki. Um, so it's um, a milder toboki, so not as spicy, and it has a little bit of milk in, in it to make it a little bit less. So it's like a rose, creamy and spicy rose sauce. Um, it only has the rice cakes in the sauce. It doesn't have anything extra added in, um, but I could have bought the little hot dogs basically I could buy hot dogs and put those in there and as well and fish cakes and stuff like that but um they don't have anything extra I'll probably add chicken or something like that to it um whenever I get chicken but trying this out it gives a spicy meter so it's like medium spice down here then I bought these brown sugar crayon pancakes I've had these before these are these are good four of them and, and they're so good. And then the other thing that I just bought this time and tried it for the first time was these um, japchae pot stickers. 
and it has pork beef vegetable dumpling on here these are actually really good too so and it has kind of like the some glass noodles in there like uh, jache um, so that's what came previously that was kind of like frozen I want to say I got something else but I can't think of it off the top of my head I remember it is radish kimchi which is another one that I really like and I like this brand which is the Jonga Jonga radish kimchi and it's cut up I've also bought the one where it is whole radishes in here and that was also good but it was a pain because I had to cut them so these already come pre-cut and um, and then we have today's box that came in our flavor but bulldog so I'm trying this out to try it out um, I've never had this flavor before um, but there's a lot of people that like it so I am gonna try it because yeah why not and then I reorder obviously I like these um, there are, they are up high for me on the spice meter. Um, so usually with the powdered seasoning packet, I only put half or quarter, a third of it or something like that, and then try to add other things. So I'll make a pork chop, add cheese. I've added broccoli in here before, um, just to, you know, make it a little bit healthier, but it is, um, taboki. Um, as well or as one person in Houston was calling <laughs> called it duck bokey duck bokey duck bokey I know I'm saying it wrong but I'm closer than duck bokey <laughs> I'm closer than duck bokey um, it is bulk. So, um, oh, the most important thing. I forgot about that. Two boxes, and we're already started on the first box. So, um, this is another one that I just continue to order. This is the coffee that I prefer the taste of. Um, so I hope that everybody enjoyed this video and the little bit of a little bit, the very large haul that I had. And um, normally I don't try to spend that much money at Amazon, but it was just, I had it come in and I needed to do some self care which included changing out my beds and every bed sheets and all of that type of stuff, getting the bike. I've been wanting to get a bike since 2020 and I did order a bike in 2020 and it kept getting delayed and delayed. I mean, for almost eight months and I finally just canceled the order because it continued to get delayed. So I was so glad when this one finally came in yesterday and it's, you know, I only ordered it a week ago. So, um, and it's a Schwinn, so I know that it's a fairly good bike as well. So I am looking forward to getting that up and going so I can go for bike rides and try to work on exercising without really hurting my ankle too much because um, I'm still trying to recover from that and trying not to push myself on walking too much with it as well. Um, so that's the haul. I will be back on Friday with the budget check-in for week two of March and then again on Sunday with a clean with me. So I hope that you check back in on one of my next videos. I will be back next time in my next video. Bye everybody.